Hello everyone, welcome to Ali's Head Gaming Time. Now today we're going to be looking at and talking about the Battlefront 2 World Map version 3. This is the last one till Grievous is released at the end of this month. Here's the intro. Okay, so let's talk about what the world map has inside. So, October, General Grievous, Jedi Hunter slash Appearance Battle uh, Damage. Now, I'm not too sure what that means, but okay, I know that's a new skin. As of game improvements, Hero Health we work and we, we generation balancing, so I hear that has to do with the hero cards and the health and all that. November, heroes, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Jedi Master, and appearance, Wobed, and also with a grievous appearance in that month. Locations, Genosis for Galactic Assault, the appearances, clone trooper appearances, the 212th attack battalion and the new vehicles like you like you heard about last month. Um, I hear that General Grievous, uh, sorry, uh, Genosis is supposed to have um, like a smaller map for the the for the um, smaller game modes such as Blast Strike, Heroes versus Villains, and I'm hoping they're going to make one for Arcade also. For January, yes, January hero, the January for the heroes, it will be um, Count Dooku with an appearance and also an Obi-Wan appearance with General Kenobi and also appearances, the clone trooper appearances for the Coruscant Guard, so that's when we're getting that. For February, um, the heroes will be getting Anakin Skywalker with the appearance. Modes, the new last scale game mode, um, and then the appearances for the clone trooper appearances 501st Legion. Not too sure how long they're going to be doing uh, these roadmaps for, but um, again, I wasn't really expecting much from this. Now we're going to read the full thing from the Battlefront 2 website. Okay, October Hero Appearances. N1 Starfighter and Hero Star Cards. For October, we are revealing that General Grievous will down the Jedi Hunter appearance by default. Uh, Grievous will release the additional battle damage appearance will be unlockable with credits or crystals. The fan favorite. N1 Starfighter, a Sikh example of the Nabula design and engineering philosophy, will now take to the skies as a fighter class ship in Hero Starfighter game mode. All right. Also coming to this, also coming this month are changes to the Hero Health Star Cards, giving every hero the ability to acquire. One of these. We, the community transmission, solely dedicated to this topic, so I don't know about how it affects hero abilities. So, all right, I'm not going to be reading that, but I'm only going to be reading this. For November, more hero appearances and a small update on Grievous. So, for that, we have got in November, Obi Wan Kenobi is entering the battle front, and he's wearing his Jedi appearance from the get to go. At the same time, Obi-Wan's robed appearance and another to be announced appearance for General Grievous are approaching. Here's a li little, here's a neat little tab bit about November's release of Geonosis. This new location will feature the nativity of uh, Geonosians as part of its living world, non-interacting environment. The Genosis played an important role in the Clone Wars colliding with the Separatists, lead by Count Dooku to develop plans for the first Death Star, so it looks like that they will be AI creatures that we'll see around. 
For December, kind of something I kind of expected for this, no game updates. December, we'll see no new game updates as we are preparing the Chrome Wars content releasing an early Super Side 2, including a new large scale game mode, non linear game mode. January, Count Dooku, the Constant Guard, and even more hero appearances. Then to kick off the new year, January we will see the new we'll see the release of Count Dooku plus an extra plus an additional appearance. For the separatist leader, Obi Wan is expanding his wardrobe even further with the General War Kenobi appearance. And the Consort Guard Clone Trooper appearances are joining the forces of the Galactic Republic. And then finally with February. February, Anakin Skywalker, a new large scale non linear mode. Anakin Skywalker, an additional appearance for the same, and the 501st Legion Clone Trooper appearances wife to the game in February. You'll be able to play with them in our new large scale non linear game mode, featuring capturing points and capital ships takedown. Please know that there's more content and features that still need to be confirmed. Things are being moved, added, changed, and, if, and effects such as improvements on matchmaking, daily challenges, uh, map rotations, bug fixing and balancing are ongoing. We'll be back with a later date with an updated version of the map. Now, if we look down here, something I haven't actually seen before. It says the, um, the usual thing, but... Appearances available for credits in game, earning game, and new hero appearances available for credits earned in game. There's one thing I wasn't expecting for the N1 Starfighter to be added uh, to the um, hero Starfighter uh, mode. I kind of wanted that to be added to Starfighter Assault and Starfighter Ar Arcade, but I guess you don't really get everything that you want. Um, so that's the only thing that I really didn't expect. Now many people are still mad at the fact that um, they're releasing this and like they're basically still picking up to what was said at EA Play. I will say this though that I kind of expected all of this. I didn't really expect it too much. Like I understand that yes they are preparing for stuff. I understand it can be frustrating that you won't get in, you won't be getting anything in December, but. For November, let's hope that the content that you guys get will basically, um, uh, I don't know, you'll have hopefully as much fun as you possibly can for that month. Um, so yeah, and again, it's Christmas within that month, so you can't expect them to release stuff. I know they did last December, but the game released and they needed to. This time they don't need to, so it would make more sense to do this, because would you be working on Christmas time? Right. <laughs> but anyway, so to be honest, very, very good. Um, now, what we're waiting for now is that I understand that there are more community transmissions going to be coming out. Uh, I'm hoping we're going to get something of a trailer of a teaser. I understand that Ben Mock says that we may not get one, but honestly, I feel like we will be disappointed if we do not get one because that would be the lowest effort of advertisement that we would actually ever see because I feel like they should up their game even if they don't want to trailers all I will say to those is try and find a way to make trailers without using any money whatsoever that's my suggestion but anyway okay so I'm guessing that the October content will be arriving on the last week of uh, October like uh, beforehand so yeah, I can't wait for Grievous. Grievous, I feel like, will be the biggest thing. I don't really care about the game improvements so much, but Grievous, I can't wait to play as this guy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching.